Hey guys, Sunday Slot Cars here, and we have a new uh, video in our most popular series of the flea market track. So this is a public track. You can actually come and race on it if you're in Sunny Ontario on Sundays at 1112 Christina Street North, 9.30 in the morning till 3.30 uh, during the day. Because, PM. yeah, it takes you a while to pack up that slot car track. We don't follow the regular market hours. So here we go. Are you ready for this? Amanda has not seen this yet. And this is completely silent because I learned my lesson. So you can see here that this is more of a, a pill shape, like a, a figure eight, I think he's called it before, an offset figure eight. If, Did you call it a pill shape, like a pill? Yeah, it's kind of like a pill. Now, I gotta say, um, I really want people to pay attention to that pit lane. We're gonna get a close, we're gonna do close up shots. It's not just gonna be us talking over this single video the whole time. Uh, the first thing I wanna bring up is that normally you wanna have a full length straight. And I learned my lesson that uh, that is still the case. <laughs> like, it feels awesome to race this with the rental cars when I have the speed down. But when I found out when you're going to be running, you know, real cars. So you can see how we had that pit lane bending, right? And then there's the bend ends. And it's really interesting to have it like that. There's actually a little less room, but uh, it, it still feels good because you actually have to slow down in the pits. So you don't, like, wipe out or anything, right? So it's actually, it's actually kind of useful if you have people with, like, a lead foot when they're going the pit lane. That's a good solution is to just put a little kink in it. Hmm. And we added the light bridge back because people just cannot, kept complaining that they can't see the control unit. I'm, I'm still surprised some of you guys couldn't find the control unit, but now we have the light bridge. You don't have to worry about it. You can see it's glowing at the very top. That's a feature. So for anybody who's ever had the light bridge before, it does glow. We have our bank turns back, obviously. And I did not uh, add any gap fill in the middle of them. They're just uh, pure, pure bank turn. Did I, did you not tell me that everything fit together better this time? Yeah, so the track is fit together. It's pretty tight, actually. I haven't had any problems with it last Sunday. I didn't have any problems. Is this winter and winter chicken dinner then for, for the market that is? Uh, no, because I missed the long straight. Now you see here, we have these like really wide turns and that's perfectly good when your speed's down. But the thing is when you're racing like full speed, for example, I do have people that come by without that don't have rental cars are bringing their own slot car, you're not getting that uh, straight sensation. Like, you know, you get like a little mental relaxation when you have a long straight, but because it's so curvy here, uh, you don't get to just hold down the gas. You know what I mean? And that's a that's kind of a problem. It's still fun to race on everything, but uh, this would great on me if we, if we had to do this all the time. So we have this challenging corner here and I took out that stupid gap filler there. Uh, very happy about that too. Just nice to have just a regular turn at the end. This is the only place with the rental cars you can wipe out as I demonstrated there on purpose. And yeah, that's the video. So, if I was to rate this course, I'd probably give it a five. It is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. It is an average slot car course. There's nothing great or bad about it. Now, for people who are watching this, be like, "Why do I want to come down and race on that?" If you're wanting to race with the rental cars, if you don't have cards of your own, you want to race the rental cards, that's a great course because they can go full speed over those wider turns, except for one of them. By full speed, you mean? I'm not half speed. I keep all my, my rental cars at half speed so you can you can just hold it all the way down and you'll be able to go completely around the course at full speed until the uh, end, until the, the last corner. So that's, uh, it, it feels great for that. The problem so it's is- it's easy, but yes. is it too easy? I kind of feel like it is, but a lot of new people don't because they don't know what they're doing, especially with the pit. I have the ghost car going a lot of times. It really makes me think there's something down here. Me too. We got to hurry up and get out of here. Okay, so there's uh, our dog's whining because we think there's a mouse. So uh, uh, we're, we're done this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Find us on blah, blah, blah. Okay, turn off the video. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.